All right, guys, the fish is nice and flaky. We can see it's done because it just flakes really easy. If I take a little piece, that is delicious. And actually, as I was filming that, we had one of the poles go right here. I think that's like a decent, oh, oh it's like pretty big. All right, guys, here, I'm gonna have to grab this guy when we get close here, film this. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think this is big catfish, guys. All right. Ah, oh, that hurts. <laughs> Not letting him go, though. Leo, oh, nice, nice, nice. nice. Good job, Sabin. Probably. Ah, uh, it's actually a drum. Oh. All right, Tony, you got a drum. Congratulations. We just got this drum. We are. We just descaled him. We're gutting him. We're gonna throw him on a spit and over the fire. This sturgeon is a shovel nose sturgeon. He doesn't have really any meat, so we're gonna look here and get him back in the water, and we'll get this guy cooking away. All right, guys. So we have our drum. We just caught on some worm out of the Missouri River. We went ahead and descaled it with the backside of the knife to get that scales off. Then we gutted it, took out all the guts, and now we're gonna go ahead and try to bake this guy over the fire over a splint. So we'll see how this goes. We got a nice little fire going. We actually started the fire with some hand sanitizer. That was 80% alcohol. Nothing like hand sanitizer on a fire. It's working pretty well. 80% alcohol. Three poles out. Stone oh, Canyon bro, pizza. What kind of friends are we if we don't encourage this behavior? Tony over here bulking up. Now right. we have the fish on the splints. Let's get him moved over more towards the middle. All right. Let's see how it turns out. Now we just got to build up the fire a little bit or lower the sticks and uh, we'll have some fresh drum here soon. All right. Thanks, Sabri. goes in. Grab the pole. It's about to jump in. We got a fish jumping out there. Shane finally grabbed it. Everyone's like, oh, you grab it, you grab it. <laughs> and then all suddenly the pole almost rips into the water. And finally, that's probably a decent, probably a bigger one if it's taking some drag. I don't know. We'll see here. You never know with fish. Sometimes the small ones are mighty. Sometimes the big ones just lunker in. No, well, yeah. I can't tell what it is. But uh, good thing the pole didn't go into the water. Uh, oh, oh, it's a letdown. It's a sturgeon. I thought it was going to be bigger. Oh, well, got uh, fish number four. All right, guys, so we have the drum cooking. We upped the fire because it's cooking too slowly. It should be going now. Cooking pretty quickly. It's about to come off the fire. We're just slowly rotating it to get it cooked good on all sides. And here in a second, we'll take it off and we'll go ahead and try some off the split. But this ought to be pretty good. I will say we brought some pizza for backup just in case we didn't catch fish. But this is probably going to be way better anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, the fish is nice and flaky. We can see it's done because it just flakes really easy. If I take a little piece, that is delicious. And actually, as I was filming that, we had one of the poles go right here. And it looks like going to reel it in. I think we got another one. Let me get us into focus. But we're eating the drum. And as we got a fish, yeah, that looks like a decent one. It's taking some drag out there. But reeling in the fish left and right, we've caught about five fish tonight, two catfish, two sturgeon, and a drum. Drums right here. The two catfish are a little smaller. If we get a nicer size catfish, we'll probably keep it. But uh, let's see what Sauber has over here Why we were eating our drum. Oh, it's taking a little more drag. How's it feel, Sauber? Oh, wow. I think that's like a decent... Oh, it's like pretty big. All right, guys, here. I'm going to have to grab this guy when we get close. Here, film this. I think this is big catfish, guys. All right. No, no, no. Keep going, keep going. Did you lose him? You kill him? He's so still on there. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to get in the water. We gotta make sure this guy does oh. not get off. Keep reeling, keep reeling, just keep tension on it. Alright guys. Nice, nice, nice. Nice! Oh, oh, oh. We don't have a net. We should have got a net. But I was not that smart. That hurts. <laughs> Not letting him go though. Leo! Oh, nice, really nice, 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 nice. Good job, Sabin. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. All right. I can slide on you. Man. Whew. They got some teeth on him. I'm probably bleeding on my hand a little bit. Flathead catfish really don't have much teeth, so you can noodle for them and they won't hurt, but these blue catfish do have a little teeth. That can be a little painful, but we were actually fishing with worm, guys. I'm surprised we caught this big of a catfish on worm. Let's go ahead. Oh, just hooked on that size one hook. Look how small this hook is, guys. Just nothing. We're just trying to catch some little fish. 
we were eating that drum. And now we can put this guy on the splits. <laughs> Man, okay, that hook was not coming out. It's a small hook, but it's like really wedged in there. I'll get it out here in a second. I'll probably get my needle nose pliers. A little bit of worm lift. And now let's go ahead, hold them up again. Oh, oh. smack. Oh. Yeah, got me back. I'd say this guy's close to 30 pounds. Probably close to 30. Not a bad fish. Sauber's the one that got him right here. Good job, Sauber. Nice. Pounder in, I'm guessing about 30 pounds. All right, buddy, let's go. Back home, let's get back in. Oh, gosh. He's spicy. All, right, All right, buddy, let's get you turned the right way. That's good. <laughs> right. Needs a little help. There he goes. He Ooh. didn't need much help. All right, now that we've released the 30 pound blue, finally I'm gonna be able to dig in a little bit more. I took one little bite of this and then one of the poles just slammed down. So I've caught a 30 pound blue catfish. All right guys, so now I think it's done. The skin is starting to peel off and the meat is starting to get to that really flaky point. We kept the skin on so it would protect the meat when we roasted it. But now you know it's done when it flakes real easy. And actually see how that flakes real easy? You can actually just pull off little pieces of the tail when you're taking off just fell off because that's how it's done. It's real flaky like this. Fry piece. And yeah, that's not bad. It's definitely got a smoky flavor because of how much flames we had on it. It'd be nice if we had some silver. We're going to go ahead and make some silverware out of some sticks. Um, but honestly, as long as it flakes, this doesn't really have much of a fishy taste. You can't get any fresher. We literally caught this probably 15 minutes ago. And that's pretty good, guys. Nice. I mean, this doesn't taste half bad. So drum, freshwater drum, are not bad eating. It's a little easier to cook them in an oven. But over the spit, we have a nice smoky flavor. And uh, we'll probably kind of eat the filet on the backside. But honestly, not too bad. Right. Take a bit of the... Yeah. drum and you can see the skin peels away and we're gonna find some pieces that are done because whenever you're cooking on a fire you have to keep rotating it really nicely because it's easy to get some pieces that aren't cooked as others but when it flakes really easy and it's white like that we know yeah. it's done it's nice and mild yeah it's yeah. not a not a bad flavor i would say catfish maybe like a little bit more mm -hmm. but this definitely isn't bad and uh we had pizza for backup as you guys can see maybe we'll throw some crushed red peppers or uh parmesan cheese on there but maybe we'll catch some more tonight. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.